It's time to get back to playing SEC softball here in Oxford. This weekend, Ole Miss welcomes Florida to town. Their first meeting since the 2017 SEC tournament, a game the Rebels would win on their way to taking the tournament crown. Ole Miss has started off league play with a 3-2 record. They took the series against Arkansas to begin conference action, and after a weekend of non-conference play, went 1-1 one one against South Carolina. After dropping Game 1 in Columbia, the Rebels bounced back behind another stellar performance from Molly Jacobson in the circle. The junior threw eight scoreless innings, striking out 10 Gamecocks on the night. Jessica Puck gave Molly all the run support she needed, blasting a solo shot in the eighth, the first run scored in the game, helping the Rebels get the two-zip victory. Game 3 between the Gamecocks and Rebels was washed away by rain, so Brittany Finney didn't hit this two-run bomb to give Ole Miss the lead. But if she did, this is what it would have looked like. Finney and the Rebels return home where they are 12-1 on the season. The last time the Rebs graced the field at the Ole Miss softball complex, they handled business against Sanford and Oklahoma State, completing a flawless weekend of play. The challenges keep coming for the Red and Blue as they welcome Florida to town for a three-game set. If you can't get out to the ballpark this weekend, we've got plenty of ways to keep you informed. You can watch the game with the ESPN app or keep up with updates on social media at Ole Miss Softball, online at OleMissSports.com or with the official Ole Miss app.